We continue to get inquiries about ivermectin and its use for all sorts of things. Um, and ivermectin is a human drug. It be, can be prescribed for humans. I'm not totally opposed to it. I think some of people are using a vet grade ivermectin that I think is somewhat dangerous. Um, you, need to, you, you really need to know that the vet drug is different. Um, a vet ivermectin is probably for a 2,000 pound horse. Um, so you have to be very careful. But it rarely works. Ivermectin works sometimes alone um, in some infections. You know, it's an anti-parasitic drug. There's some thoughts that some of the things people deal with are because of parasites. Um, but dosing is critical. There's all sorts of dosing parameters that are starting to show up. Um, it's going to take research a long time to catch up and so that we, I won't see it in my pharmacy career, so that it's used properly and effectively and safe and effective. Um, the other thing that's more and more popular that's used with it is um, there's, a, there's a class of drugs called menzimidazoles and they're also an anti-parasitic drug. Um, Fenbendazole is a vet drug. It's common for things like gastrointestinal parasites in the vet population. People are buying fenbendazole off the internet. They can buy it from vet supply places. Again, I think that's very scary. What's the right dose? What's the quality? What is it that we're getting? Do we know what we're taking? Are we under a physician's care? Some people are. There's some physicians. There's a um, I'm, I won't mention his name. He's an oncologist in Canada. He's a very, very bright guy. He has very, very strong sound protocols. Um, and fenbendazole is one of the things that he recommends. Now, fenbendazole carries some risks. The interesting thing is recently there's a drug called menbendazole, which is for human use. Um, so some of the side effects of the fenbendazole are itching, vision problems, fatigue, um, an increase in liver enzymes. Um, the human grade menbendazole is much safer. You don't see that side effect profile. The dosing is different, um, but it is a human drug, but it is very, very expensive. So again, people are driven away by the price back into this fenbendazole market. And because it's so available, through vet internet sites um, and much, much more affordable, you do see it. Um, I occasionally get some calls with some questions about it. Um, we encourage people to work with their prescriber. Hopefully their prescriber will do a little bit of research to try to guide them. I can tell you from experience, um, I've, I have, a, I have a, an acquaintance who's a nurse. Her husband was um, pretty sick with a, a end stage cancer, um, kind of was told we've run the gamut of treatment and she quizzed me about, I was a, probably a little bit more open with her because of her nursing background. She did find a practitioner to help them. They started the ivermectin, the fenbendazole, um, some vitamin D, some vitamin, I think they were doing some IV vitamin C, um, did some very strict dietary changes. He he had several metastasized spots, and four or five months later, they couldn't find those spots. So what he did worked. What was it that he did? Was it the dietary changes? Was it the vitamin D, the vitamin C? What was it, or was it the program and the combinations? I guess we won't know that because there isn't these good sound studies being done to know what these protocols are. And I think in the last video I mentioned, if a drug gets to a point where they see a 55 or 58 uh, percent positive outcome, that gets entered into a different phase of studies. Um, the ivermectin protocols don't reach that. They're seeing some success, but they're not reaching that percentage where it's worth the dollars to really investigate because it doesn't perform or outperform what's already available. Whether that's right or whether that's wrong, that's not for me to say. This is really for educational purposes only. I'm a pharmacist, I wanna make sure that people have the right information. 
If they're going to go down, go down that path and make those decisions, that's their right to do so. Um, but I would encourage you to work with a practitioner who will work with you to make sure that you're uh, as well protected as possible. Thank you.